notes. Do you hear this? Oh, that was way too low. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Do -do 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 -do. All right, this is gonna be our waltz song. I know it's a little slow and a little bit easy, just like a very simple beat, but that's why we are doing it because it's easy to follow. Freaking love this. You don't have to be sitting down. You guys can stand up and take these lessons with me. I'm teaching a freaking dance class here. If you're not following along, what are you doing, sir? Stand up and you can waltz with us. We'll teach you to freaking waltz, man. It's gonna be so useful later in life, trust me. One day you're gonna be like, crap, if only I knew how to waltz, even just a basic box step. Oh crap, Neil used to teach us how to waltz all the time on stream, but I was too foolish to pay, le pay attention to him. Now I regret all my life decisions. That's, that's what we're gonna have happen. That's what you're gonna face in the future. Wow, these are really tangled headphones. Excellent, excellent, okay. Well, it's mostly untangled, it's fine. All right, the floor is still dirty, but that's okay. We will live somehow. Oh God, everything's filthy over here. Who cares, right? It's one in the morning. All right, so we're gonna move our chair. Excellent. Sweet. All right, now you can see my feet. Let's just ignore all this mess over here. So when the song starts again, we are going to teach the waltz. You probably can't hear me. Let me turn down the music just a smidgen. All right, so I'm gonna teach the waltz. We're gonna start with our left foot for the leads. We're doing the leads part now. We'll do the follows part in just a minute. Focus, camera, focus. All right, so the leads, we're gonna start with our left foot on one. We're going to go forward, side, together, back, side, together. Forward, side, together, back, side, together. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is called the box step because my pattern, my footwork makes a box. Back, side, together forward, side, together. And like most dances, every beat is a different step. Forward, side, together, back, side, together. Down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up if you want. But that's more advanced and not as cool as it should be. So here's a basic box step. Now that's the leads part. The follows part, it's going to be basically the exact same thing, except you're starting on your right foot and you're going back. So you're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now the observant viewer, focus, the observant viewer will notice that 
one, two, three, four, five, six, is the exact same thing as one, two, three, four, five, six, except it's counted differently. If we were to count this, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm doing the guy's part, but if I just change up the numbers, the one, two, three, and the four, five, six, we are doing the follow step. So lead and follow your steps are freaking identical. They're identical. One of you starts going forward while the other of you starts going backward. Easy peasy, not a problem, right? Super easy. And we're just forming a box. We're just forming a box. Forward and side together, back, side, together. Really simple. Now to make our box look nice, we wanna go forward and then diagonal on an angle, right? None of this like forward together, side together bullshit. That's that's a fox shot. That'd be like forward together, side together. Don't don't even do that shit. That's wrong. It's all wrong. Why did I even show you? You want to go forward diagonal together, back diagonal together, forward diagonal together, back diagonal together. Also, if you notice my uh, threes and sixes, I'm kind of dragging and slowing it down. So it's like one, two, three. Four, five, six, right? So I kind of hurry and then slow, hurry and slow. So I steal a little bit of time from the second beat and give it to the third, just a little bit, just a smidgen. Don't worry about it. If you're if you're not at that level, just keep doing your box. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right? Super easy. Now we're gonna do one thing to this. One thing, we're gonna turn it in a circle. So all we're gonna do is on one, instead of going forward side, we're gonna go forward, but turn my foot 45 degrees, and then we're gonna turn the rest of the 45 degrees, and now we're gonna go side together. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So instead of going forward side together, we're doing the same box, but we're turning ourselves 90 degrees in it by going 45, 45, side together. Cool. And then when we go back, we're gonna go 45, 45 side together. When we go forward, it's 45, 45 side together, 45, 45 side together, right? So we end up doing, on spin, we end up doing a turning box, which goes one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And much like the square box, the lead and follow part for this is identical. Unwind. It's identical, except one of you is going forward on one, the other of you is going back on one. Whatever. Um, okay, so let's do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Turn, 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 turn. And we're gonna do a square box. Square box, square box. And again, square box. And now a turning box. One. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And square box. So simple. So simple. So simple, right? Lead and follow. Steps are identical. I'll just keep showing the lead steps because it's the same as the follow, and probably like 95% of you are leads. So let's take a quick look at chat, see if you guys have any questions. You're not the only one doing it, trust me. Yeah, we just got a fucking square box. Easy peasy, right? We'll do a roll call in a bit. Don't worry about it. No one is watching you. You can try it all you want. It's fine. Uh, we're going to do the slow fox trot in a little bit, but right now we're just going to focus on waltz. I want to show you one more step. I want to show you two more steps. Okay? I can't show them how to travel. My room is too small. I'm going to show you two more steps. Okay? So, the first is going to be our turning, I'm sorry, underarm turn. Unwind all the cables. The underarm turn, which is super nice and easy. Um, leads, this is the first time our steps differ, okay? So leads, I'm going to show you the footwork, just the footwork, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. That's right, your footwork is the exact same as it was for a goddamn turning box, right? Our turning box was just one, two, three. All this is, footwork-wise, is the start of a square box. One, two, three, 
four, and then we go into a turning box. Super simple. Now, the difference here comes with the hands, okay? So, now, I can't. So the difference is, we're gonna do, like this is a square box, right? I hope you guys are like good with spatial dimensions and turning them on the sides and whatnot. So we're doing our square box, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. So for a turning, for an underarm turn, which is what we're gonna be doing, we do one, two, three, nice and normal. Now on four, when we go back, pay attention to the camera, focus, focus. Okay. When we go back on four, this hand, which should be holding the partner's hand, like normally you'd be dancing like this, right? With this hand up high. That your left hand is going to raise above your partner's head. It's going to raise above, frick, I can't show this well. It's gonna raise above your partner's head. And then when you go back, four, five, six, Fuck, we'll just have to tilt the webcam up. Sweet. So, we're doing one, two, this is our square box. Four, five, six. Now when we do the underarm turn, we go one, two, three, but on four, five, six, we lift this hand up and kind of open our elbow. Instead of our elbow being forward, we're gonna open it up a little bit. So we're gonna go four, five, six. We're gonna drop this hand away from the back, and then we're gonna go into a turning box. Two, three, All right? Let's show it from a different angle. All right, so we're gonna get just a normal square box. One, two, three, four. Now we're gonna do an underarm turn. One, two, three, raise it, drop the hand away, and then go into a turning box, All right? And then from there, you just keep turning like you would normally. Now here's follows. This is where it differs. All right, for follow, you're in this dance position, right? Your hand is on their shoulder. Your other hand is in their hand around your head height, whatever. So you're gonna go square box. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we're gonna do the underarm turn. So you're gonna go one, two, three. Now your lead's gonna lift your hand. And instead of just going four, five, six, forward, one, two, three, you're going to go, actually you're gonna walk forward in a circle. You're gonna walk four, five, six. Then you can go right back into your square box or your turning box. One, two, three. Okay, it's a little bit more difficult. So you go square box, two, three, four, five, six. One, now we're underarm turn. Four, five, six, one, two, three. All you're doing is you're taking a six count, four, five, six, one, two, three in a circle. And now imagine there's a pole right here and you're just walking around the pole. Four, five, six, one, two, three, right? That's all you're doing. So your feet are coming close together on three at the end. A lot of people will go four, five, six, and then they'll go backwards. No, don't you go backwards. Backwards is bad, forwards is good. Hey. There we go, excellent. Focus, focus, cool. So again, we're gonna go square box, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, hand goes up, and we're going to go, ah, missed the baby. No, this should be one, this should be four. Four, five, six, one, two, three. And now you're on four, five, six again, so now you do your backwards stuff. You go four, five, six, and then you keep turning normally. It's the only weird part. But it's pretty simple. When the hand goes up, you take six counts in a forward circle. Forward circle, keep going forward until the end of your six counts. And you're set, you're set. Last step we're gonna show you in the waltz is going to be called the single twinkle. Last step in the waltz is gonna be called the single twinkle. From the lead's perspective, we're gonna do a full square box first. One, two, three, four, five. Now a single twinkle, forward, side, turn together cross side together. Bam. Let's do it again. Full square box. One, two, three, four, five, six. Single twinkle. Turn together. Cross side together. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, turn together, cross side together. 
then from here you continue in a normal square box or whatever shit you have going on. Now follow, it's very similar. We're gonna do square box first. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now a single twinkle, turn together, cross side together. Now so the way that this works, we're just gonna straighten the single twinkle. Back, side together and turn, cross side together. Now notice how as a follow, my left leg, which means my inside leg, because my partner's right here in front of me, so when we turn, this is the leg that's on the inside, crosses. And as a lead, I go forward side together and my inside leg crosses. So together, both our legs and the inside, the legs that are touching, cross together at the same point, and then we just come side together. Now the important thing here, leads, leads, this is for you, this is for you, is the lead, like, is to show how this, to lead this move, right? So you don't want to just like, one, two, three, turn it, because then your partner's like, what the fuck is that shit, right? So you want to take your hand on the back of your partner, where it would normally hold your partner right here, except it'd be the right way up, instead of upside down. Be like that, but with the palm. I can't flip my hand four dimensionally. Um, you're going to take that and you're going to, you're going to tilt it, like almost like a, um, like a, what do you call it? A pinball machine, okay? So you can go forward, side, and then go and flip your partner. You're just gonna turn your partner 45 degrees, all right? So you can go one, two, and apply a little bit of pressure on the back to flip. So now you're side to side, hip to hip, and you go cross side together. You don't wanna do like a full open, so you're walking completely forward and parallel. You wanna do like a 45 on each side of you. So you're both 45, and then you kind of cross while maintaining your shoulders towards your partner. Five, six, done. Boom. All right. All right, guys. That, that, my friends, is the waltz. You do not have to make the sound. That is optional and not recommended, actually. I really do not recommend making that sound that sound on the dance floor unless you know your partner really well. Uh, chances are he or she will be upset when you go uh, on dance moves, okay? Good. We're gonna flip into Foxtrot. I'm gonna flip into the Foxtrot. I love the Foxtrot. Foxtrot's like my favorite dance in the world sometimes, usually, sometimes. It's a little bit of a faster version of the song that I want. Let's do the slower version. Good, we're doing the slow version because it's easy to follow when we're teaching, all right? This one's also easy to follow when we're teaching. All right, good. So, Foxtrot, four counts, not three counts, it's four counts. And leads, we're starting on our left foot. Slow, slow, quick, quick. So Waltz was steady, steady, steady. Foxtrot is slow, slow, quick, quick, right? That's how it is. Ooh, the text messages have arrived. Okay. So we're going to go forward, forward, side together as a lead. Ready? Forward, forward, side together. Bam, easy peasy. We're gonna do it again, ready? Forward, forward, touch, side, together. Let's do it again. Forward, forward, side, together. So it's faster than Waltz. This is actually kind of a bit of a faster song. Doesn't matter. Forward, forward, side, together. Bam. So we're also going to do the back step. Again, starting on your left foot, you can go back, back, side, together. Let's do it again. Back step goes back, back, side, together. Now, if you watch the grain of the wood, I'm going to go back, 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 back. Now, wherever this heel is, can you see that? Yeah, you can kind of see that. Let's scoot it forward a little bit. Wherever this heel is, I will come to here and go straight to the side. So we stay on the same grain, same plank of wood. Right? Back, back, side, together. Bam. Now, we also have... Let's show the follow part. The follow for the forward step. So the forward step is called for the lead. We say forward step, forward step, side, together. Right? Well, the follows, the forward step means you're going backwards. So you just have to flip that shit in your head. All right? So forward step is going to go forward, forward, touch, side, together. We're just pantomiming our partner. We're going to go forward, forward, touch, side, together. And the back step, we're going to go back, 
back touch side together. Right? Crazy, I know, but you know what? Follows, sometimes you have to put up with crazy shit. Back, forward, forward, side together. Back, back, side together, right? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Um, now, as you've noticed, all these steps keep moving us to the left. And at some point, no matter how big our ballroom is, we're going to hit a wall. Unless our ballroom wraps all the way around the earth. In which case, it's a fucking awesome ballroom. I want that ballroom. Um, so eventually, we're going to hit a wall or something, and we can't keep going left. So what we have is our left turn. For leads, we're going to take our left foot, and we're going to go forward, rock our weight, back, turn, side together. We're doing a 90 degree turn to our left, but we're going to rock forward first. It's forward, back, side together. Forward, back side together. Now when you do this, you want to keep a firm lower hand. Your right hand that's around your partner's waist, you want to keep that firm. So when you go forward, your partner knows that you're not going forward for like a forward, forward side together, like a forward unit. You're actually doing the, the left turn. So you go forward, keep her close, pivot, side together. This is a slower song. It's a little bit easier to deal with. We're going to do a left turn. Ready? Forward, back, side together. Beautiful. Let's just let's do it right here, front and center. Again. Forward, back, side together. Beautiful. One more time, chat. Here we go. Forward, back, side together. Perfect. So, let's do the three steps we've done. We're going to do a forward unit, a backwards unit, and a left turn. Forward, forward, side together. Back, back, side together forward turn side together beautiful let's do it all together again five six seven eight forward forward side together back back side together forward turn side together beautiful so now we can do these same steps over and over and over again into whatever pattern we want but we're going to add one more just what? No. First, we're gonna do the the follows step of the left turn. So follows, true to all formal ballroom, you do the exact opposite of the lead. So when the lead goes forward, turn, side together, you two go back. So you're gonna go forward, turn, side together. Simple. Again, forward, turn, side together. Look. Wait for the feeling on the lower back let you know that you're not going all the way back with your second foot. You're just going back. Oh, don't completely turn or don't completely move, shift my weight. Just a nice back, whoops, forward, side together. Nice and easy. So last step we're going to do, last step we're going to do for Foxtrot, because Foxtrot's so easy. I love it, is our promenade. Uh, this is the lead step. Starting with our left foot, left foot, we're going to go side, cross, side together. That's it. Nice and simple. Let's do it again. Side, cross, side together. One more time. Bum, bum. Here we go. Side, cross, side together. Yes. Last time. Side, cross, side together. Great. Follows. Your part is really freaking easy. Ready? You start with your right foot and you're going to go side, cross, side together. Look, isn't that easy? Side, cross, side together. Bam. Last time. Side, cross, side together. Easy peasy. You know what? We're just going to repeat that song because that song is so damn good. All right, so we're going to put all four of our steps together. Okay, all four of them. We're going to do forward unit, back unit, left turn, Promenade. It's not going to fit in this room, but we're going to do it anyway, damn it. Okay? So, five, six, seven, eight, forward, forward, side together, back, back, side together, forward, turn, promenade, side, cross, side together. Excellent, excellent. We're going to do it again. Forward, forward, side together, back, back, side together forward turn side together side cross side together chat you're so smart 
We're gonna do it from the follows perspective this time though. Ready? Here we go. Forward, forward, side together. Back, back, side together. Forward, turn, side together. Side, cross, side together. Bam. Gets a little stuck at the end. We're gonna try it one more time. Here we go, forward unit. Forward, forward, side together. Back, back, side together. Forward, turn, side together. Side, cross, side together. Chat, you're so smart. You are so smart. So, any questions for that? And now I will respond to the text message. Excellent. Yeah, we're at 32 hours and 20 minutes of streaming. When is Scott Bro wait when is Scott Bro's be your dance partner? Scott Bro um, does dancing. Scott Bro is a competitive salsa dancer, not professionally, uh, but amateurly. He is a competitive salsa dancer. And he's actually very, very good. Yes, I can do the Charleston. Uh, we're not gonna teach it, it's a little bit more complicated and whatever. Um, he will be back in like an hour or two and he may show us some salsa if you really want. I do not know the cartography, the choreography of Greece, and I do actually do not know that much Charleston. My Charleston is actually pretty limited. I can do like five or six maneuvers. You're the one I want. Oh, I am taken, unfortunately. Sorry, buddy. Yes, that's why he gets the, all them Latin beautiful ladies. Neil rolled an 18 on just 3d6. Why, thank you. Thank you. Uh, we'll do cartography later. What are you doing? Did I say cartography? I meant choreography. But if I said cartography, you know what I meant. Um, is there anything else? Do you guys actually have any questions about Foxtrot or Waltz? Like, legitimately, is there anyone that has a question? I, I'm happy to answer those questions for you. Go for it. Legit question. Is micro or macro more important? Doing your steps versus managing your partner and dance floor. Um, it depends where you are. It's too hard to say. Um, like there's not, neither one of them is like, they're both equally important in this situation. You can't like have one before you have the other. Can you show the turn one more time? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to show the turn one more time. So I think I accidentally turned down my volume. No, I think I turned down this volume. There we go. There we go. So. The left turn. We're gonna take our left foot for the leads. Forward, and we're gonna pivot in place. Okay? Woo! Lost my balance. Forward, turn, side together. Let's try it again. So, forward, the foot rocks up onto the toes, but it doesn't actually leave the floor. Okay? Forward, and then I turn this foot 45 degrees and come all the way side together. Forward, turn, side, together. One more time. Forward, turn, side, together. If you want to get nitpicky, the right foot actually goes backwards a little bit. Forward, it kind of goes this way. I kind of like drag it across the floor a little bit to my right. Just a smidgen, all right? Just a smidgen. Forward, back, turn, side, together. Did that answer your question? Or is there something else that you would like to see? Yeah, I know the floor is dirty here. Don't worry about it. Um, oh, the turn for waltz. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go back and do the waltz turn. The floor is dirty. Don't worry about it, guys. I'll live. Dirt on my feet never got me sick. What is the best way to recover from a foot stepping on? Smile, wait for the music to hit a downbeat and just keep on dancing. Don't like, 
You don't need to acknowledge it more than a polite smile, because no one wants to talk about it. No one wants to talk about it. Alright, so the waltz turn. So we're going to start... Why don't I start it from... Damn it. No, I'm just going to do it this way. Alright, I'm going not with or against the grain of the wood. I'm going like diagonal to the grain. So ignore the grain of the wood. Okay? So our box step is one, two, three, four, five, six, right? So our turning box is going to be forward, and we turn our foot out, and we turn our bodies, and we go side together. Then we go back and turn our foot out, and then side together, and we run into our everything, okay? Let's try it again. Forward, turn together. Then we're going to go back, turn together. I think the grain of the wood's fucking everything up. Let's go with the grain of wood. Forward, turn together, back, turn together. Forward, turn together, back, turn together. Okay? So, it's basically like doing your square box, except uh, every, like, two, five, at every two and five, you're doing a 90 degree turn to your left. So it's going to be one, two, uh, ah, on ones and fours. Oh my god, what was I saying? Well, between the one and the four. Between the one and two and the four and the five. One, two, three, four. Ah. Oh my god, I can't count anything. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yay! Yay! Undoing everything. Sweet. Okay. Any more? Any more questions? Chat? Any advice for people with bigger feet? Dancing always seems to end with my feet getting stepped on. Size 14 men's. Here's the secret for dancing and not stepping on your, I almost said opponents, your partner's feet. All right. These sandals are going to represent my dance partner. All right. That's where her feet are. They should be a little bit of apart. See how they're apart? They're not stuck together. Don't dance with your feet together. Just dance with your feet apart. My feet, my right foot, will be directly between my partner's feet. My left foot will be on the outside, right? That means her feet, if we flip this around, we're doing the same thing. These are my feet. Those are the lead's feet. Her right foot is between my feet, and her left foot's on the outside, right? Our her lead's right foot is between the partner's feet, and follows right foot is between the partner's feet. That way, if I step, focus, if I step forward, I'm not stepping on my partner. If I step forward with this foot, I'm not stepping on my partner. Right? So don't worry about like trying to avoid your partner's feet, otherwise you're gonna dance like this and you look ridiculous. Just go straight forward, straight forward. That means when you're dancing, your knee is on the inside of their knee, and your the this part of your knee is touching that part of their knee, right? So it's close. I mean it's dancing. You're supposed to be close. You're supposed to be really close, okay? So don't worry about it. Just step between their feet. And if you end up getting stepped on. Don't worry about it. Unless they step on you with heels, then you have my permission to slap someone. All right, any other questions? I am on Kiwi's level of drunk. Is this what he sees? Probably. More dances, please? I don't know. I don't know. Ergo, what have you done? Oh God, Ergo, what have you done? <laughs> Ergo, you son of a bitch. We already did a basic slow dance. We did a waltz. It's a nice slow dance. We'll work on.